hi to all the Linux Jack viewers out there. So as we have started our series of Microsoft Word, it is important to learn what are the options available in order to start writing a document. So in this particular video, we'll be exploring two different options. The first one is how to start writing a document and what are the different text options available to us. The second important feature that we'll be discussing here is a drop cap feature. So let's start and explore what are these. So this is your basic main screen. I have written down some text already. Uh, you can write anything on your screen. The very basic option that is available to you is uh, basically uh, the cursor that you have on your screen. You can start writing it immediately by using a keyboard. So this is a document. This is one of the options which are available to us. Now for if more options or for, for options which are much more bigger than this one we need to go to the insert ribbon and within this insert ribbon you'll find a complete set of commands these commands are captioned as text because they are all related to text for your document so let's see what are these options and we'll explore these options one by one the very first option that we have is a text box option when you'll click on this drop down menu it will ask you to choose among all these available styles so you may have more styles or you can also draw a text box by clicking on this particular feature but there are different options for example if you would like to draw a simple text box just click here and see a simple text box is is actually here similarly if I would like to change the type or the style of the text box, for example, if I have a quotation or something important to tell within my document or in between my document, what I can do is I can select this bended quote style and a square like this will appear. So now I can place it in between my, my text and I'll have different wrapping option as well. We'll be discussing different wrapping options in our further lectures. So these are the two basic functions that we have. So within the text box, either you can select the simple text box or you can select any of these available styles. And I also told you that you can draw a text box by clicking here and now see I have just drawn a text box here. So all these options are available. Whenever you'll create a new text box or you'll select any of these pre-existing text box styles, a contextual tab of format will appear on top of your screen. We'll explore this option in our upcoming lectures. So let's go back to the insert ribbon. After this, the very first option that we have is the quick part option. For example, if you have something already written within your document or you would have made a signature within your document, you can use this option by clicking on this drop down menu. After this, you will have the word art option. When I'll click on this drop down, you can see these are the different word arts which are available to me. Let's just select any of these. And when I'll select, it will appear on my screen. I, I can start writing. This is a document. So I have a different uh, options available. You can also see that with this word art, you'll also have this contextual tab, which we'll discuss in our upcoming lectures. So this is how you can actually use it. And this is a word art. So now after word art, if you want to have or if you would like to place time and date within your document, see, you have this option available within this text box command. So when I'll click here, a new screen will pop up and I can select any of the languages or any of the time zone and any of the format which I would like to place in my document. You must have noticed within books or within different reading literature that uh, you have different dates, different months and years written all over your document. So you can always set as a default and you can check this box update automatically. So each and every document which you will create will have the date and the time or whatever format you have actually selected. The last option that we can select here is object. So you can also insert an object from this text box and if you have 
text file available so for example if your project manager your teacher or your research assistant or your research associate has actually shared a text file with you so you can import that particular text file by clicking on this text from file options so these are the different options with which are available to you within text now let's see what is drop cap see I have written this paragraph and when I'll select this paragraph when this paragraph was not selected you can see that this option is actually disabled when I'm on this particular uh, text box but as soon as I'll select this paragraph the option will become enable and I have three different styles which I can choose in between the first one is I want to have no drop cap the second one is it should be drop like this so drop means that the very first letter will automatically be dropped and the number of lines to be covered is actually a customized value I'll show you how the third option or the next option that we have is in margin you can always put the first letter within the margin side and all your text will become like a paragraph so these are the different options which are actually available to you now let's see and explore what are the different functionalities within this drop cap so click on this drop cap options and a new window will pop up see the very first uh, option that we have is where you would or what font you would like to select I have selected currently the body font you have different options within this drop down menu you can select any of these now you have uh, the luxury to select how many lines you would like to drop So you can tell Microsoft Word I would like to drop only two lines so now you will see when I'll click OK instead of three it will only cover two lines see now let's go again distance from text means if you would like to keep this D away from the text which is written in this paragraph let's try and increase the size and please notice the gaps or the volume changes within this particular document see what happens as soon as I'll click OK the changes will appear so after D a 4 inch gap will pop up I'll just revert it back because uh, this is not what we actually want we want it to look like this now what other options we have within in margin these are the three options that we have available so you can change depending on the requirement you can change the text let me change it to uh, uh, Abadi maybe and I'll click OK see the text has actually changed now if you would like to increase the value of number of lines or you would like to decrease the value of number of lines this can be done easily by using this particular feature so this is how you can actually use the drop cap option it is mainly used when you are starting start writing a document so the first letter of your book of your literature of your research paper or your project report or maybe your meeting minutes will actually be a drop cap letter this will enhance the readability of your document and it will add a good value to whatever the text is so please make sure that you are using this feature and do make sure that you have subscribed to our youtube channel which is learner deck and please don't miss to click on the bell icon stay tuned and we have lots more coming up thanks for watching this video